I'm 25 News' Chuck Collins. During WEEK's 70 years, two local personalities are revered above all the others. Afternoon Children's TV host, Captain Jinx and Salty Sam. The show premiered in 1956 when the station purchased a package of Popeye cartoons and needed someone to introduce those cartoons. The first Captain Jinx was radio actor Hal Searles. He left in 1957. He was replaced by WEEK radio announcer Stan Lonergan. And then in 1960, it was decided a second cast member was needed, so weekend weatherman George Basilian was tapped to play first mate Salty Joe, but the name was quickly changed to Salty Sam. The characters became local superstars. Their show drew an unbelievable 76% of the viewing audience. They made personal appearances, marched in a huge number of local parades, and visited local hospitals bringing joy to young patients. They even had fan clubs on local college campuses. And if you were lucky enough to attend one of the shows in person, like yours truly, you were the talk of your neighborhood. Due to budget constraints, the show went off in 1973, but in 1978, the SS Albatross returned to the airwaves with new characters like Bosun Joe. In 1981, Captain Jinx and Salty Sam waved goodbye to the audience one final time and stepped into broadcast history. Today, those who enter the WEEK studios pass by two large portraits of the men who played such a big part in the memory of children growing up in central Illinois.